beautiful all about the news. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment in this comment section. I don't know. Let's get into the next video. Sport. Champions League yesterday went down. Man City, Tottenham, Spurs, Basel. Let me give you the scores right now. Man City won 4 0. Convincingly, very easy game. Um, what's his name? Good again. LK. You know what I'm going to say? LK, good again. Scored two goals. Man, um, Aguero back in the score sheet as usual. And Bernardo Silva getting his goals in the Champions League as well. They're going through their conversations there. <laughs> Spurs draw 2 2 with Juventus. Harry Kane putting a claim in that he's a world class striker and can do it on a big stage. I have to admit, he's got a pretty decent goal there. Ericsson as well getting on the free kick. He got in getting two goals, one, one from the penalty spot. Um, whew, two away goals for Spurs, though. That's the most important thing. So they do go into this game with a huge advantage. Um, I don't know if Spurs will win though, but they have a good advantage. Well, salute to Spurs though, because I gave them no hope yesterday. I said, um, I believe they'll lose 2 1, and I told you Man City will win 3 0. That, that was a bit an obvious one though. Man City will definitely want to win. Now, would Paul Pogba shine better for Pep Guardiola? Now, I really do hate the bum licking of Man City manager Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola. I, bloody hell, I don't care what to say his name. Like everyone goes, yeah. Pep way, pep way, tika taka, pep way, ba ba ba. Like yo, he's not that special, bro. Like listen, he's a great manager with top class players. Facts. Top class players, hands down. If you have top class players, who do you want to be a manager? Pep Guardiola. Facts. Uh, would Paul Pogba shine better at Man City? Probably because they play freelance in football. Now, I think the Red Man is literally just. I want to say shitting on Mourinho, but he was really like putting down on Mourinho later. Then really being too defensive. Now we have to admit, when um, Pogba in his prime was playing better at, um, in a three-man midfield for Juventus on the left-hand side in the midfield. Right now he's playing in a two, playing as a Dia, pretty much, and the Dixon they play from deep. Now you want to see Pogba more going further forward. I totally understand that we had played him at number ten, and he completely flopped. Um, and unfortunately, we'll never get to play there again as long as Jesse Lingard keeps up his form. So it's one of those things where I understand what everyone's doing, talking about Pep Guardiola, you know, he's playing his very extensive football, Tiga Taka, you know, everyone's going to attack, attack, attack. He even says that he doesn't teach how to defend, you know, he doesn't care about how to defend. He teaches how to score goals and pass the ball and yada, yada, yada. Um, and I totally understand what the argument is, but. Just stop it, bro. Because when Pogba has a really good game, no one wants to talk about it. So I don't understand the situation. The Australian Football League has agreed for the first time to allow a transgender footballer to play at state level. Now, she wants to get into the um, Australian Football League as in, you know, the top, top, top of the league. Now she's allowed, she's allowed to play at that level right now. So hopefully that, you know, she'll get her dream. Her name is Hannah uh, Mouncey. Hannah Mouncey. I'm 28 years old woman. Um, used to be a man, which was interesting, in 2015, just before she went in through her gender transition, she was playing for the men's handball team, um, so salute to her um, for, you know, making a win, a salute to the Australian Football League as well for, you know, accepting people for, you know, who they are, you know, people people want to be men, people want to be women, if, you know, some people don't want to be the gender they were born in, some people believe they weren't meant to be the gender that they're born with, and, um, you know, that's something we just got to accept, I know there's a lot of arguments with, if it, if it should be accepted, if this and that and this and that, listen, it doesn't really matter, dog. If it doesn't affect your life, just let them do what they gotta do, bro. That's one thing you need to learn. If it doesn't affect you, just let them do what they gotta do. So it's good to see that people that are different like to play. You know, I want to see more homo. Uh, I want to see more gay people coming out, lesbians coming out. You know, what I'm saying if you're gay, cool, bro. Just tell us. But you're in the Premier League, do your thing, bro. I think it's cool. It's cool to have a different movement. I know we had the LGBT campaign where people, the footballers were wearing laces and stuff like that. So, come on, man. Listen, in 10 years' time, there's going to be like eight transgender players out here. You know what I'm saying? So, I think people just need to accept the fact that people are different. Don't get too um, offensive and, you know, always try to... Oh, because fans can be very, like, old school and, you know, make all these chants. Oh, you do. Well, I don't know where the chants are. It's the same with racism. People are just different. Football needs to have more diversity like this, and it's good to see. Hopefully, Australian Football League won't be the only league accepting transgender people. And yeah, I want to see more of this. So, salute to Australian football. Alex McLean is close to becoming Scottish manager after having talks. Now, Scott, <laughs> Alex McLean, remember him? Took Birmingham, Birmingham to Birmingham, took Birmingham to the final of the Carling Cup. <laughs> I think they lost to City. 
No, sorry, Spurs or Chelsea? I can't remember. But yeah, Malik Anders Cleesh, I haven't really heard of him in like 20,000 years, but you know, Scottish manager soon. So anyway, that's the end of the sports today. Tell everybody to watch the amazing thing. Give me a remark. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for more news. Hey, I've got a guest coming through tomorrow as well, too. So stay tuned for that. Peace.